Hi everyone. I promised I would try to do a roast with this Buckeye BC2 roaster. Some of you had asked for that and uh, I've been wanting to do it anyway. So I'm just going to let you follow along the roast. I will cut and edit at times so you don't have to watch the long boring parts. But um, yeah, I'm roasting today some Columbia tipple using one and a half. I'm going for one and a half pounds of uh, beans. And so I'm using 29 ounces of green and at a 15% loss from moisture, it comes right in at, at about a pound, a little bit more. So uh, this is the size that I prefer for this machine. It will take two pounds, 32 ounces, but I'm doing 29 ounces. So I'm gonna start by just charging that. And once I, once I put the green beans in, I start um, artisan. And then I, uh, obviously, the next thing, of course, is to, uh, to drop the beans and start the timer. But first, we'll turn off the roaster. We're at 424. I want to drop these at uh, 400 ET. I'm going to drop them at 400 environmental temperature and start the timer at that point. 408. 405, and there we are, and I will also start charge on Artisan. After a one minute soak, I will turn on the gas again and I will be roasting I have a special uh, LP, or rather a natural gas gauge on this roaster. And uh, so it reads out millibar. I'm gonna be doing six on the dial, six for my largest roast. And I'm using an air setting of two. I find this to be pretty good. It gives me anywhere from a four minute 45 to five and a half minute dry time, depending on the bean. So we're at 55 seconds. Okay, we'll start the roast and bring it up to six. Okay, good. And now my drum temperature or my drum speed is at around seven to 75 out of 10. And again, my air is at two and it will stay here until close to dry. Uh, or right until dry and then I will bring it up to about three. So we're looking good. We have a turning point. Let's see, we're about to get an update here. Turning point at one minute, 10 seconds, 164.3 degrees. Now this, this Buckeye 2 Roaster is, uh, I described it before, it's kind of like a race car. And uh, in, in that it's very responsive to changes. Um, it's a beefy machine, it's built well, it's, it's heavy, uh, but at the same time it responds to air changes and stuff pretty, pretty quickly, pretty well on Artisan. If I change from two to three on my air, for instance, I will, I will see in about 15 seconds, I'll see that change in my rate of rise. So, this is, by the way, the first roast of the day. I have five that I'm gonna do. I'll show you. There they are. So each of those is measured out to 29 ounces. And I put a little tag in. This one says Columbia, depending on what I'm roasting. It's very easy to lose track of what you're roasting if you're doing multiple varieties. So we are now at 231 in the bean temperature at 3 minutes 15 seconds. And so now it's calling for a 5 minute 32 second dry, which is not surprising. So rate rise is dropping now quite a bit and dry time is pushed up to 618. If, if we can keep it between 5 and 7, though I like to keep it closer to five and a half and six usually, and like to get that four minute approximate period between dry and first crack. We're at 289 bean temperature. 
I have a five second sampling rate set on Artisan. If you have it at one or two seconds, it's gonna go up and down and drive you crazy. You're gonna be going, ah. Uh, at least if you're not experienced, that's what you'll probably do. And then I learned to set that time out a little bit and the little micro peaks and valleys are gonna be smoothed out and you know, you can't control them anyway. They're gonna happen. You just don't want this, right? Okay, we are really close. 319, smelling good. I'm gonna call that. Dry in at 635, 321.8 degrees. Now I'm gonna move my air up to three. And I'm gonna bring my fuel down, not as much as I would if the machine was really heated up. I'm gonna bring it down to five and a half. It was on six. We don't want to overreact, but we're we're getting we're, the beans are dry. A lot of the moisture's gone, and it is uh, is starting now the mallard phase. Actually, I'm going to go up a little bit more. I'm going to bring it right to four on my air. The magnahelic gauge is at 15. We are at 3.39 at seven and a half minutes in. All right, we're gonna be, I think I'm gonna be bumping this to four and a half shortly. Yeah, let's do that right now. Air temperature four and a half. Now, when you're using Artisan, uh, it's a great tool to help you uh, visualize your rate of rise and see what's happening inside the machine. Um, to forecast how far you need to uh, to go to get to certain stages in your roast, and uh, I wouldn't want to be without it. I know you can roast without it, but this really gives you an indicator of what's going on. It's calling for first crack at 10:38. Now we had dry at 635, so ideally I would go to at least about 1035 um, to have that four minute segment of before first crack between dry in and first crack. Starting to smell roasted. Well, this machine is great. Obviously, you can roast, piggyback the roast one after another. And um, I'll usually drop the beans, you know, of course, with the cooling fan on, immediately bring the air back down to two to retain heat in the drum. And um, I will modulate my gas so that the, the heat kind of stays above that 400 part on the uh, temperature on the ET. And then I'll dump another batch in, reset artisan, and go. So uh, you can really do back-to-back -back roasts that way. I'm going up to five with air. I got a little jump in my rate of rise. I want to control that so I don't get a flick and crash. And we are at 380. We are close to first crack. Back. There's an outlier there. Now well, that's coming in. I'm going to call. Well, let me give it a second. There it is, that's first crack for sure. Okay, first crack at 1025, 384.9 degrees. I'm at air temp of five, gas at five and a half. And rate of rise is at 12.4. So I'm going to keep it there for now. I like that. Developing nicely. 
So between drying and first crack, we were at three, three minutes, 50 seconds. So almost four minutes, that's pretty good. If you can hear first crack. I'm gonna get my mic near for you. No idea if that'll come through, but uh, it's rolling pretty good first crack right now. 398 degrees, 11 minutes, 40 seconds. We're gonna bring, we're gonna bring this Colombian up to about 427 degrees, sort of a city roast. We're at 406. Rate of rise is 7.6. Now it's starting to turn. It will tend to get down to, you know, single digits like that, eight, seven, six, even, and then it will begin to go up. And the bean temperature will begin to go up. And it is now, it's 8.2 rate of rise. Kind of hanging there, 410 degrees. We've been at first crack for uh, two minutes, two and a half minutes, and it's slowing down, but it's still cracking. The beans have really swelled nicely. They're getting this a smooth texture. And we're at 414. Rate of rise is 10.7. When you really want to be watching your beans, we're at 421. Almost ready to let these go. 424, I'm going to shut off the roaster, shut off the gas. We got plenty to coast in here. Let's turn on the cooling fan, spatula. Dropping it. Went a little long, 428. Close the door. I'm going to bring back the air down to two. I'm going to start my roaster again. My gas to keep my heat up. Shut off the timer and reset it. And bring the gas down just to keep, keep the drum hot. So the total time on that roast was about 14 minutes. Beans are cooling very well. Let's shut that off. If you can see much of that. It's a nice roast. All right. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. This is the Buckeye BC2 roaster roasting um, 29 ounces of green yielding um, yielding a pound and a half that is 24 ounces of beans uh, and we did columbia tipple today all right thanks for watching